The Army's decision to adopt the Bell V-280 Tiltrotter, which will eventually replace the Black Hawk, has drawn criticism from Boeing and Sikorsky. The U.S. Government Accountability Office has been requested to look into the U.S. Army's decision on the future long-range assault aircraft contract by Sikorsky, a Lockheed Martin subsidiary. In support of Team Defiant, Lockheed Martin Sikorsky is contesting the FLRAA decision after carefully examining the data and input the Army supplied. It said that the information and conversations make us think that the plans were not consistently assessed to provide the best value in the Army's, our soldiers, and American taxpayers' interests. The most capable, inexpensive, and risk-free solution is required due to the crucial importance of the FLRAA mission to the Army and our country. We continue to believe Defiant X is the game-changing aircraft the Army needs to complete its difficult tasks. Defiant on March 21, 2019, it had its maiden flight. It is a compound helicopter with stiff coaxial rotors and two Honeywell T-55 turboshaft engines. This helicopter is a little bit taller than the present Black Hawk and lacks a tail rotor, but it still has a suitable engine that provides the aircraft with forward power, allowing it to reach a top speed of 460 km per hour. The SB-1 Defiant is being developed by Sikorsky, a subsidiary of Lockheed Martin, and Boeing is a high-speed, long-range helicopter for the U.S. Army. It is designed to be able to reach speeds of up to 280 knots, 320 miles per hour, and has a range of over 1,000 nautical miles, 1,150 miles. Both the V-280 and the Defiant are being developed as part of the U.S. military's efforts to modernize its vertical lift capabilities and meet the evolving needs of future conflicts. They are expected to offer significant improvements in speed, range, and payload capacity over current helicopter platforms. The Bell V-280 Valor is being developed by Bell Textron Inc., a major American aerospace manufacturer as a joint multi-role aircraft for the U.S. Army. It is designed to be able to transport troops and cargo, as well as conduct reconnaissance and other missions. The V-280 has a cruising speed of 280 knots, 320 miles per hour, and a range of over 2,100 nautical miles, 2,400 miles. It is expected to be operational by the mid-2020s. The Army's decision to select the V-280 aircraft over the Defiant has upset Boeing and Sikorsky. The decision to test the helicopter for taking up the U.S. Army is currently being challenged. Both aircraft have unique capabilities, with the Defiant helicopter being similar to the, even while the V-280 is a tilt rotor that provides vertical lift and forward motions. Comment here with your preference for the Bell V-280 aircraft versus the Boeing Defiant helicopter. Which do you believe the US Army would find more suitable? Don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you're a new viewer.